Good day from outer space. Welcome to Drawing with Lord Carnage. This is Mark Bustler from Classic Game Room, and today I'm working on Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, page 10, which is part of the, the build-up at the beginning of the book, where Ethel is cutting her way into this mysterious space station, and uh, we, we see that her spaceship Errol is covering her, but something, something is amiss. Something is wrong. And uh, we'll find out what that is soon, but this is a uh, challenging page, a lot of panels. This page has no pencil whatsoever. I have a rough digital sketch layer in the background, which you can see here. The DigiSketch layer, where I mapped out the page and did the storyboarding. So she's cutting through the airlock here, and we see it flying out into space, and then uh, we're going to see her head poking down through here. She's going to land. On the inside, there's gravity. As you can see, I did a little bit of work on this page already. I was dorking around with it last night. Did this in Illustrator. And I'm going to put some inks down uh, right on top of the digital ink layer. And I'm probably not going to finish this page 100% here today. I just want to make sure that it matches the next couple pages before I spend a, a lot of time working out my details. I just moved the word balloon over a bit here. Now I'm going to have this dialogue balloon coming out of Errol the spaceship there. So we're going to go, uh, there we go, okay. I know, I've always had some kind of liquid in these, these shows. I'm like constantly drinking water, coffee, or beer, but typically not what I'm drawing. That's, beer and video games go really well together. Beer and drawing, not so much. Water and coffee are good choices, but let's get started here on page 10, Drawing with Lord Carnage. This is Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. Here's a drawing of Ethel I did yesterday, and now I'm going to uh, have her head sticking out from, or peering into the space station from the outside. So I'm going to uh, rotate the image to work on this. Can you go 180 degrees? and draw her head uh, peering down through. So let's do a sketch layer first on this. We'll have it like that. Put her eyes there. There we go. This is a uh, look on her face, and I'm going to zoom back out to see how this really looks. That's the one big difference between drawing on uh, this this giant tablet screen versus working on a piece of paper, which is I don't always get the best sense for the whole image when I'm uh, zoomed in. Now, now on the plus side, it's super easy to make corrections and a lot faster. Let's put the space background in here behind her, and I'll finish up the the gun a bit later. Put the star field in there. I'm gonna add some effects on her helmet. But that's uh that's the rough image. So we got she's shooting her way through the through the airlock from the outside. It flies off into space. There's gonna be some big sound effects here. Alright, my uh, phone battery died in between takes here. It's been about a half hour, maybe a little more, I don't know. I've laid out some of the heavier inks up here. Uh, the inside of the air hatch, that thing blows off. I added some temporary sound effects in here. I gotta mess around with my fonts a little bit. There's Ethel poking her head down. I'm gonna have the shot of her dropping and landing on the floor there. Uh, Errol is talking to her. And uh, here's the shot where she's taking off her helmet. And um, I'm gonna have her like uh, astronaut pack over here. And there's going to be a giant door here with some things on the side. And I'm going to do that in Illustrator. So for the moment, I just have it blocked off as a big white circle. But it looks pretty cool. I mean, I think you get the idea for where, where that shot's going to be heading in the future. But I want to do a nice elaborate door, like a big badass door. You know, this is, um, you know, it's kind of like a submarine. Because in this shot, I need to make it clear that the thing that she just blew off, like, automatically seals somehow. But, uh, which is why she can take her helmet off here. So, 
Haven't quite figured out what this shot's going to be. Doesn't need to be something fancy. I think it just needs to, to, to make it clear. She comes down in, but then there's like an emergency thing that goes, that shuts in there or seals off the air or something. I turned on my sketch here. The uh, next shot is going to be her walking down a dimly lit hallway. And I'm going to do this in two layers, not including the word balloons. A background layer, which I'm going to start off with a really just, I'm going to block it off with heavy blacks and a couple whites for the lights. And uh, then, then draw her in a separate layer on top of that. Uh, that way I can spend, I'm kind of tired right now, so I probably won't be able to do a, uh, a great job on a detailed background or uh, or Ethel at the moment but I can at least block this off and show you uh, show you the beginnings so I'm gonna do her in two layers too I'm gonna do a Ethel hall layer sketch so this will be my sketch layer for Ethel and then I'll do the uh, the real drawing on top of it and if I can't quite nail it on the on the tablet I'm still not like 100% comfortable yet drawing everything on the tablet, but I can't nail it. I will uh, do this in pen and ink and then just scan it and do it the normal way. But let's let's just get her body in here. I tend to draw everything with stick figures first. Get her shoulders. I mean, she's got her uh, she's got her she got her gun out here. Those are hips. And uh, put this one out in front. Follow by that one in the back. Okay, there she is. It's close. You know, her, her one eye is actually a little big. So, what we're going to do is edit. Transform, scale. I'm gonna shrink that down a bit. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab her eye and forcibly move it. Ow, oh, ow, pain. There we go. I like that better. Subtle, but like eyes are everything. <laughs> You're gonna look at the eyes first. Drew a forearm way too long in the sketch, but I'll fix that here in me. To at least get the form down. And her belt is going to be here. We're going to drive it. All right, this is how the uh, rough, the rough inking of that Ethel drawing turned out, and I uh, just dropped in the the rough background, and I'll. Blend everything in together later, but right now I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to go play some games or something and call it quits for the day. This is Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. If you like the book, if you like the way this looks, please back the project on Kickstarter. And um, you'll be seeing more of these here on Drawing with Lord Carnage. So see you next time. Thank you.